what is up guys today we're inside of roblox beast Worm simulator and today we're going to try to kill a stick bug without being inside the fields now obviously you can't actually kill stick bug uh he just transforms into a different level stick bug and then goes to a different field and it's just a time-based event and you have to try to uh do as much damage as possible but it's impossible to kill him so we're going to say that the challenge will be successful if we get to level 3. And that's not really a high uh, bar that we have to clear. But we're just going to start the challenge right now. So we're going to use our free entry to start the challenge. He's going to go to here. Now the rules of the challenge is we cannot go inside of the fields. So we're just going to have to hope that our bees do a lot of damage. And there we go. We've already killed him. I would prefer if we could uh, get the rewards, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, we didn't get them. Uh, unfortunately, I also have uh, the twigs around me, and I can't really do anything about that. So since they're dealing damage, I kind of just have to hope that my bees uh, can take him down uh, fast enough before I die. And right here, we're going to have to be really careful because it's going to be easy to uh, get in the clover fields. That was not the clover field. I also didn't realize that technically I'm not damaging him if I'm in a different field. Uh, so that's probably going to be our main strategy. Uh, but yeah, we just need to get over to here. And then there we go. Uh, now we need to hope that he comes over here. And I don't think that he's going to- oh. Oh yeah, this is very bad. Um, I kind of just have to- Actually, technically I said that the challenge was is that we had to- uh, only damage him when he was inside, uh, when he was inside the field, and I was outside of the field. And this technically isn't damaging him, it's just making him reappear. So if I'm just careful enough, we should be able to get him to respawn out of the ground. And then we'll be able to attack him, yep, there we go, uh, the lag made it super anticlimactic. Uh, but yep, we killed the level 2, so... That is it guys, no I'm joking. Uh, we're going to just keep going uh, for as long as we possibly can. We're going to have to go down to the flower field, the blue flower field though, to get rid of the twig trap thingy. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we don't want that. Uh, we're just going to try to kill the level three maybe. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. If we are able to do it though, then we've successfully gone above and beyond on the challenge. To be honest, I didn't think that this was going to be this easy. Um, I'm very disappointed as well. There's so much honey that I could collect here, but I can't collect most of it. Uh, because it would be breaking the rules of the challenge. And of course, my vicious bee spawned uh, the, the token inside the fields. Like, two inches away from where I am. So that's not nice. Uh, but we're going to have to dig him out again. Again, we have to be super careful while doing this, because we have to get out of the field as soon as he respawns into the field. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be super difficult. We're going to kind of have to rely on our bees uh, for a little bit. Uh, but we just got out of the field just in time. And yep, now the level 3 is dead. We're going to go get this really quick, because I don't want to miss out on any of those. And now we've taken our uh, rewards. And now we're going to go back to the clover field because that's where level four is. Uh, honestly, I don't really know uh, how we're doing this. Luckily, my bees were not there. Uh, otherwise, I would have just failed the challenge. I just realized. I'm so used to being inside of the field when I'm attacking an enemy. Uh, can they actually hit them if I'm still down here? I don't think that they can, but that was a lot of lag uh, because of the king beetle exit. Okay, I kind of okay. Uh, that was a lot of lag there. Uh, we're just going to try to- oh, I- oh, stick bug, you okay? Okay. Uh, he fell over there for a moment. Uh, so that was a little bit concerning for the stick bug. Uh, and we're going to just try to kill level 4, and then I think that's going to be it for the video. Even though we have tons of time left, uh, we still have more than half the time. Uh, it's just that I don't think we're going to be able to kill level 5. So we're just going to end off the video, uh, right as soon as we kill this one. Okay, I just got out just in time once again. Uh, I need one of the, my bees to give me a uh, token link, so that way I can get uh, the vicious bee strike. Thank you, uh, music bee. I appreciate you. Uh, and yeah, now we are outside of the field still. Uh, and he's at 18,000 health. This is very anticlimactic. Um, 
But, if we just keep going like this, I think that we should be able to do it. The precise speed is doing its accuracy shots. That's pretty nice. Uh, honestly, while we're just waiting, I'm going to talk about the precise speed. I really think that more bees should have attacks like the precise speed, where it actually doesn't just shoot lasers out of its eyes. Uh, I think that the bees should have all of their original unique attacks. I know that I already said this in the video where I got Precise and Buoyant Bee for the first time, um, but I still just want to say it again. I just wish that all the bees had their own attack. Uh, like, for example, like the, the Buoyant Bee had something like an attack where it would just like shoot three balloons, I guess, and then like those balloons would float up, and maybe they'd hit their targets, maybe they wouldn't, uh, but yeah, like they would do a third of the normal damage uh, that they do as of currently, so that we would still be balanced and still do the normal damage. Uh, we almost just failed the challenge right there. Um, that would have been very bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, some other ideas is like the fire bee. It would shoot like for the fire particles uh, as a flame attack. I guess I don't know. Um, I need- oh, yep, my frog was very useful and, um, got the Vicious Bee Spike tokens, that was nice of it. Uh, this is taking a lot longer than I was thinking, which is, uh, kind of proving, uh, my point on how we're not going to be able to beat level 5. Uh, that one looker bee was just trying to kill Stickbug all by himself, right there for a moment. Uh, but we're going to get the frog right there. And, uh, he's still at, like, half health. Uh, we're not doing that good. Um, frog? Frog, you can't just no-clip through the- Is the frog in here? No? The fro okay, the frog's just gone, guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we have magic frogs on our team. Uh, they just randomly disappeared. Um, but yeah, where is Stick Bug? There he is. He is in the ground. Right there. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of lagging, which is not good. Uh, and of course, now my Vicious Bee gives me, uh, the Impale. So that's a little bit unfortunate. We're going to get out of the field just in case. And, uh, nope, he still has a lot more to go, it seems. But I don't know if we're actually going to be able to beat level 3. Or level 4, I mean. Uh, so yeah, this is getting a little bit difficult. Okay, run, run, run. Okay, there we go. And we just need to hope that he stays inside of the range of the bees. And then we should be all good. Uh, our ginger bear uh, is doing very good. Uh, and he's collecting all the rage tokens. Which is exactly what I need out of him. Uh, but there we go. We're doing a lot of damage, I think. Maybe not a lot of damage. We did 3000 damage while he was doing that one attack. Uh, so that was pretty nice. We just need to actually target him rather than the stick nymphs, and we need to just hope that my bees always get in range of him. As of right now, they're not really doing that. We're going to get the impale right there. That should kill off the uh, the nymphs, and then of course he spawns in more nymphs. Uh, so that's a little bit of dis of a disappointment. Uh, and we're just going to sidestep them. There we go. And he's at 900 HP. Our precise bee is going over to just try to kill him all by himself. Precise B, I got this. Uh, now he's turning into the stick bug thing again. Uh, I've been trapped in sticks. Not good. Uh, we're just going to real quickly just break him out. Okay, I thought we got it for a moment and I was very concerned that my bees were going to attack him. Okay, so we just need to get him out and then there we go. We go over here now and then hopefully it registers. There we go. He has 783 HP. And he's getting melted, and then there we go. So, for doing that, we got an oil, which is very nice. I'll, I'll take an oil for uh, my efforts. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the new channel, or you want to see some more Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator. And everybody, peace out.